Hello, my name is Katie Scoob, and welcome to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Today I'm going to show you how to shiny hunt Pokemon using Outbreaks. This will also work on wild Pokemon. First, I'm going to show you some early slash simple methods, and then later on I'll show you some post-game slash advanced methods with higher shiny odds. I was going to do this low-level little pig raid over here, or Outbreak over here, but it's up in the mountains and they're not actually spawning in so instead i'm going to show you flabebe which is an event right now so it'll have even higher shiny odds 0.5 percent on top of the other shiny odds first of all you want to find your whatever pokemon you're looking for slash the outbreak we're going for this one right here outbreaks will give you higher shiny chances but, like I said, it will work on any Pokemon in the wild. So, we found them. We want to, first of all, save our game before we go anywhere near the outbreak. We do not want to discover it yet. That will mess up the process. We want to be away from it. We want to save our game. And now, we want to make a sandwich. What do you mean people are nearby? <laughs> That worked. Okay, first we want to make our... After we save away from the Pokemon we want to do in the outbreak, we want to make our sandwich. What we want to do is make an encounter sandwich of the type that we're looking for. Alright, we found it. This one has encounter power fairy level 1, which is honestly all we need. We're going to favorite it so we can easily find it, and we're going to make it. Picks don't matter, use whatever pick you can. Okay, the key to sandwiches is to get all the ingredients on them. All of them. Oh god, don't slide like that. And it doesn't have to be pretty. Honestly, the ugliest sandwiches are the easiest to make, as long as all the ingredients. Oh god, why are you throwing them? As long as all the ingredients are on it, we're fine. And then we're going to throw away the bread. Because all the bread is going to do is make it so some of the ingredients fall off. We don't need that bread. Throw it away. And now we'll have all the effects we're hoping for. See? Three stars. They loved it. And now we have our encounter power, which is the one we were looking for. After we save and then make our sandwich, make your sandwich after you save. You don't want to do it before. We can head in to the mass outbreak. With the encounter power going, it should make many more pop up than they were originally going to. Alright, now that we're in, we want to auto battle by pressing the R button. It'll send our Pokemon out, they'll start fighting, and what this is going to do is it's going to clear out the Pokemon so more spawn in. You want to go in with a Pokemon that has a good type matchup. I don't know if this is a good example, but I'm such high level it doesn't matter. Because you don't want your Pokemon to de be defeated when you're doing the auto battle. Also what this is going to do is increase our shiny chances. So our normal odds without a shiny charm, because we're early in the game remember, is about 1 in 4096 Pokemon. But since this is an event thing, we're going to have 0.5%, so it's going to be much easier. And once we defeat 30, it's going to up our chances to about 1 in 2,048. And then after that, and we beat 60, it's going to up our chances to 1 in 1,365, which is honestly really good. You want to fight all of them. You don't want to be picky because your Pokemon will not fight... A shiny Pokemon. It will completely avoid and refuse to attack a shiny Pokemon. You can lock on to Pokemon for better control in auto battles doing ZL. I find it helps. We're gonna do see the entire outbreak through, which means we're gonna do it until it dissipates and there's no more Flabebe spawning. Oh? 
Oh, we found one. We didn't have to keep going. The reason I spotted it is because your Pokemon will not auto battle shiny Pokemon at all. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and catch it. And we caught it. <laughs> Yay. So we got lucky and we found one right away. We got our little shiny, so we're going to save. The only time you want to save is when you find a shiny. And now we're going to keep going in case there's another shiny hidden amongst the crowd. Oh, it dispersed. <laughs> so if we didn't find a shiny there, what we would do was re reset the game and do steps three through five again which is make a sandwich go into the outbreak start auto battling and if we don't find one we reset again this works the same as finding just normal wild pokemon outside of an outbreak the only difference is if you don't find anything uh when your sandwich runs out then you restart because outbreaks are more condensed and you can do them more and there's more pokemon in the one area things to always remember auto battle will not hurt shiny pokemon at all it's a good way to spot them auto battle everything because it will not hurt a shiny pokemon always auto battle with the type advantage so your pokemon doesn't get knocked out and you have to like constantly heal it this is gonna take a long time in the beginning of the game if you're shiny hunting and you don't have some advanced things like the shiny charm it is going to take a while you need patience uh when you're making your sandwich you want all the toppings on so make sure they get on there and then just throw away the top bread doesn't matter the bread does not matter you just want those toppings you want all of them to get on top to get the effects you want 